Consider a beaker filled with a liquid of density rho. Let rho be the density of the liquid. Rho equal to density of liquid. Density of liquid. And let this be the surface of the liquid. About that there is air or the atmosphere. Consider a liquid column such that its top face is on the surface and the bottom face it is at a depth h. Let this length be h. Then the different forces acting on the liquid column are one let's call that as fa force due to the air because on the top surface it is air and at the bottom let's call that as f that f due to the liquid so since there is an area liquid exerts a force on that area and the last force is the weight of the liquid weight of this liquid column w Suppose the liquid column, we took the liquid column as a cylinder of cross-sectional area A. A be the area of cross-section. Area of cross-section of the cylinder. Area of cross-section of the cylinder. Then, considering the equilibrium of this liquid column or the equilibrium of the cylinder, the total upward force must be equal to total downward force. F upward must be equal to F upward must be equal to F downward. So the upward forces acting are there is only a one force called F acting at the bottom of the liquid column, that cylindrical column, and the downward forces are F A plus F A and weight, weight of the liquid column. So this is equal to F is equal to F A plus you know weight is equal to mass of the liquid column into gravity. Therefore F is equal to F A plus but this mass is equal to volume into density. Mass is equal to volume into density then gravity. We know mass of any body is equal to its volume into density. Again F is equal to F A plus again volume is equal to if you have a cylinder of base area a base area a and height h then its volume is equal to base area into height that is a h a h rho g clear now let's call that as equation number one now divide the equation number one with the area of cross section that is equation 1 divided by area. So this is equal to F divided by area is equal to F A divided by area plus dividing every term with A plus A H rho G divided by area. But you know force per A unit area is equal to pressure. That is pressure at the depth here pressure at the bottom surface we just call that as pressure at the top. Force of the air column per unit area is actually the atmospheric pressure PA. Plus you can cancel this A and this A so it is equal to H rho G. So this is the expression for pressure at a depth due to a liquid column. That is P is equal to pressure at a depth is equal to atmospheric pressure plus H rho G. And from this equation, it is clear that pressure at a depth is directly proportional to the depth of the liquid column. We know as far as air liquid is concerned, the density doesn't change and the gravity also remains constant. So pressure at the depth is direct at a depth is directly proportional to the depth from the liquid surface. That is the reason why at larger depths the pressure is very high. So that when the divers has to use protective clothes such as scuba diving set in order to explore deep deep in the ocean.
Okay.